Hi folks, um, just wanted a quick review of a couple of items I bought in AliExpress. Um, I've been interested in converting my boat from petrol, so just outboard, petrol outboard to electric. Uh, so obviously there's some examples in the, the UK that you can buy, like Turquito and things like that there that are all commercial, but they're also quite expensive. You're talking £2,000 upwards. Uh, so I had a look at AliExpress uh, and seeing what China had to offer and um, there's a couple of outboards that I purchased along with a lithium-ion battery uh, the first one is uh, this, this one here so it's basically a 48 volt 2 kilowatt brushless uh, trolling motor or whatever you want to call it um, it ha have a plastic propeller um, and it sort of says 48 volt 45 amp hour um, 150 pounds must be thrust or whatever so it says it's equivalent to 10 horsepower but I think that's maybe a bit generous um, the other one is a 48 volt 3000 watt 3 kilowatt uh, again it's aluminium prop um, and up to 60 60 amp hour um, so and again then this battery is a 48 volt 48 volt 50 amp hour lithium ion battery which should be theoretically good enough to drive both uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll show some of the clips from busy testing this out on my boat so this is the two motors um, and the battery uh, 48 volt 50 amp hour kind of like an e-bike battery that's the 48 volt 2 kilowatt motor so here we are trying out the first one, which was the three kilowatt uh, higher power one. It didn't go to plan. It didn't have enough power for whatever reason. So we were kind of a bit difficult to get off. Uh, this is us moved on to the two kilowatt. A uh, bit more luck this time. Seemed to work very well. Uh, it was actually quite pleased with this one. Sitting here with autopilot on, out, <coughs> out and about. Um, it's about five knots of a breeze. Um, it's just coming across our beam. Um, at the minute, the second motor, obviously, I'll show you the first, but it was a bit of a disaster. Um, this is the Max 350 48 volt. Um, again, it was actually slightly cheaper than the other one, less powerful. Um, at the minute, we're what, doing. 52 volts, 51 volts, uh, 7 amp, um, 384 watts, 390 watts, then around that, keeps it up and down. Now, if I tilt, so if I go here, and I give it full whack, you can see we're doing a lot, you can see we're rocketing along now, uh, we're using a whopping 27 amp, so we're using a 1.343 kilowatt. Uh, which is actually rated this here for two kilowatt, so it's kind of well typical Chinese. It's, it's below what it's expected to be, but for this big boat, as we sail for 18, it's probably more than enough um, for tinkering in and out. Basically, uh, just needed to get in and out of this bay. So I'm gonna see if I can get back now, because uh, that's probably what I'd normally I'd be normally with the sails up and sailing out here anyway. So uh, so far, this one looks promising for this boat anyway. So we sort of went down to about half speed there, so we're down about 12 amp, 600 watts. Uh, it seems to be, it's, it says it's variable, but it seems to have like three gears, because I can see it seems to be three distinctive sort of uh, shifts in amperage. So, apparently we've used 30, it's a 49 volt minimum, uh, we've used 131 watt hour, so, oh, 
What are we doing? What are we doing? 49, okay. The one of the things I noticed about this battery, uh, it was a one off AliExpress. Uh, the cables are very thin. Now, it doesn't seem to be too warm here at uh, 12 amp, but it certainly does get a wee bit warmer at uh, the higher amperage, and I'm wondering why that's, it didn't work on the other motor. I think it's maybe not getting enough juice. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. So, this is the, the barrel test. Um, now, a half empty barrel kind of worked alright here, um, but then I realised maybe if I filled the barrel up, it seemed to be because the water obviously was pushing out, so it wasn't actually pushing that much, so the prop was get, wasn't covered. Um, so, I did another test here. And this is with the full barrel now, so. As we can hear, this is the same thing that happened in the jetty, so it just sort of cuts out after a bit. Um, don't know what's going on. Uh, I suspect it's the power of the, the battery just not being up, having enough amp hours to so it should have stopped briefly. Uh, so I have more batteries, so I think this one will need more testing. So all in all, I'm quite happy with the purchases. Um, the Max 350, linked down below. Uh, it was given out about 1.4 kilowatt, which is what three horsepower. Um, the way they calculated is the losses of a normal petrol engine is through obviously you have the engine driving the gearbox, which then goes through the, the conversion back out to the prop. Whereas these electric motors all drive or the engines at the prop, so it's, it's direct. And uh, Torquedo and all those ones do the same. Um, I know some of the ones exaggerated a bit, but I think three, about three, three, four horsepower feels about right compared to my other uh, petrol motor. Um, the battery, I used a battery tester just to test the capacity separate. Um, and again, I got, got it to about roughly about 40 amp hour. Um, so that's not too far off. Again, the only problem I'd, I'd say is the thin wires may reduce the current. So again, I bought another battery just to double up. So hopefully be able to get get the, the three kilowatt motor working and do some tests for that. Uh, I have a couple of other future projects that I'm working on. Uh, I want to charge the battery from a 100 watt solar panel at birthing. I have the solar charger ordered. I'll put a link down below as well. But if you subscribe, I will be doing some more videos on that. I've also got a lithium iron 100 amp hour battery, uh, 48 volt. So that's a load of those cells. Um, Again, they, they charge up to 100%. You can leave them sitting around and abuse them quite well. So I'm going to test that out. Again, if we get a near 100 amp hour, that should give us plenty of range. Uh, I have another 50 amp hour lithium ion to pair up with the existing. So what my thoughts are is that basically double the range anyway, but it'll also uh, maybe get the, the 3 kilowatt working. So just, just a few things to play about with. So if you'd like to see how those turn out, click the subscribe button and hopefully see you back again. Thanks. Bye.